ప్రభు నేసి క్రిస్తునాంలో మీ అందరికీ శుభములు మరి ఈ సాయంకాల సమయంలో మనతో మొహమ్మద్ ఏజాజ్ గారు ఉన్నారు ఆయన క్రీస్తులో ఎలా పయనించాడు క్రీస్తు వద్దకు ఎలా వచ్చాడు క్రీస్తుతో ఆయన మరి స్నేహము ఎలా కుదిరింది అది మతమార్పిడ లేక క్రీస్తును అనుసరిస్తున్నటువంటి ఆత్మీయ జీవితమా అన్న విషయాలపైన ఈరోజు చర్చించే ప్రయత్నం చేస్తాం మరి మన ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇంగ్లీష్లో ఉండబోతుంది కనుక మరి మొహమ్మద్ ఇజాజ్ గారు తమిళనాడుకు చెందిన వ్యక్తి కనుక ఆయనకు తెలుగు రాకపోయినా కానీ ఇంగ్లీష్లో మన ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి స్క్రోల్ అయ్యే సమయంలో ఆయన మాట్లాడే మాటలన్నీ కూడా తెలుగులో టైప్ చేసి మీ ముందు ఉంచుతాము మరి మన మధ్యలో మొహమ్మద్ ఇజాజ్ గారు ఉండటం మనకు చాలా సంతోషకరమైన విషయం ఆయనను మన స్టూడియోలోకి ఆహ్వానిస్తున్నాం సో థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ మొహమ్మద్ ఇజాజ్ ఇట్స్ ఏ ఇట్స్ ఎన్ ఆనర్ టు హ్యావ్ యూ హియర్ విత్ అస్ దిస్ ఈవినింగ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ రియలీ పెక్యులర్ దట్ యువర్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ మొహమ్మద్ ఇజాజ్ అండ్ యువర్ కంటిన్యూయింగ్ విత్ యువర్ నేమ్ uh and uh, you claim to be following christ and how does it work i mean uh, tell us more about yourself okay uh, i'm basically from tirunelveli from the south part of tamil nadu and um, i'm a urdu speaking hanafi follower from my childhood and uh, from my childhood um, what as, as islam people talk, how the family teaches them to go towards uh, allah that's been i would also uh, taught to go towards uh, islam and uh, as the five years of old my father passed away so from that day onwards after when i come become 13 years of old 12 years of old even i just started focusing on islam and i started like actually mm-hmm. living my life mm-hmm. so at that point of time uh, i was seeking allah a lot uh, to follow him um, uh, vigorously and to know what iman can do what uh, muhammad is teaching and all so, so what what was the, what were the parts of your uh, uh, spiritual journey in islam were you, were you like uh, reciting quran a lot or doing a lot of your prayers uh, tell us more about that okay uh, as an islam guy from a childhood it's mandatory for us to learn uh, arabic read and write so at the age of 12 i remember i have just read quran more than 78 times me and my sister has done that and uh, i just started going and talking about uh, explaining about islam to the people uh, to the islam people actually we mm-hmm. call us bayan to them mm-hmm. so every week what we do uh, we go to different different jamaat i go to different different jamaat and stay with them we live with them and then we go to the different streets we call the people we keep them in one mask and we proclaim actually talk about uh, hadith and all mm-hmm. so in my young days i started doing that and the regular job i had actually every day morning so i woke by 4 o'clock for uh, fajr namaz and uh, i do all the ajan ajan thing and uh, so you are the one that used to call yeah. for prayers everyone yeah, yeah. oh that's good <laughs> so i am the person who used to disturb the entire okay okay <laughs> so where we lived in that uh-huh. makan i am the person who was doing this hmm. so after that the namaz is done i go and meet every muslim people and ask who has not come to mosque so my regular duty is to do the ajan after namaz is done whoever has not come to uh, mass that day so i go and invite them why have not come mm. why not come that's mm. my regular duty actually mm. so as a islam guy i was very orthodox and very religious like what islam teaches us and every single iman thinks i have to follow what as muhammad said actually mm. it's very prophet muhammad yes mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how my life was in islam actually mm. so so your parents and uh, your family must be very orthodox in that case yeah yeah all are orthodox no one uh, in, in our family they are very orthodox very strict actually we never mm. um and uh, gone and heard about some other's faith also i am mm-hmm. very i am very strong in my faith because it says the creator is one and the creator is allah only so that's how mm-hmm. we have been taught and that's mm-hmm. how i also actually followed it mm-hmm. uh, so me. so tell me one thing uh, muhammad ijaz you said creator is one and that's very interesting yeah. and the bible also teaches that uh, the creator is one mm-hmm. uh, and uh, but what is the one thing that mm-hmm. draw your attention towards christ okay like bible says and the quran says the creator is one mm-hmm. and um, i never heard about uh, christianity's faith or i not bothered about what they are doing mm-hmm. and i am one thing i know uh, they are in the false way that's how i was i kept in my mind so so you've been taught that christians are following yes. a false god yes yes or fo- they they follow false teachings no it's a false teaching actually mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. always believe that they have been misled by the people mm-hmm. uh, who share the gospel i mean mm-hmm. who share the word of god mm-hmm. from not from the word of god mm-hmm. from different word of god okay Okay. that's why it was we kept in mind actually okay, okay. so uh, to know about christ the question was um, 
my life was normal i'm going towards islam and at some point of time um, because i'm doing everyday namaz and everyday reading the quran and started doing bayan and all i want to know more about creator i understand that he is the eternal and he is the only existent even if i die in this world i'm going to live with him so that draw lot of attention towards him towards allah so what i did was like i was asking to be hajrat uh, he is my uh, master hajrat actually is next to me home so i went and asked him uh, i want to follow allah a lot and lot i don't know what i ought to do i am just started following also but still i want to do more and more so i was asking him so he was telling if you love so much you want to follow islam uh, you pray 30 times who uh, who oh, you mean 30 times 30 a day times, yeah <laughs> a day yeah, yeah oh that's good okay yeah. what he is said he the do? exact word uh-huh. he said there is no five times or three times at all you can pray if you love allah you want to follow him you pray 30 times a day hmm. so i took that as a challenge and because i have wanted i want to follow him a lot and to respect him a lot and um, next day onwards it was thursday so friday saturday, Sunday, Sunday. So I did three days for thirty times, thirty times, and thirty times. And what do you do in prayer? What What did you do thirty times? Okay, you just recited some Quranic yeah. verses, or you also uh, worshipped him or prayed with all of your heart. Yes. What is it? No, it's about just praying because uh, the way how Islam worship towards God is just doing namaz only. We do just namaz, namaz, namaz. So in Islam, it is actually submitting and worshiping. That's the way of doing mm. uh, to reach mm. Allah. Mm. That's been practiced by all Islam people. so i know only that kind of thing either to recite this quran or to uh, pray th- uh, five times or 30 times so i started 30 times i did for almost 3 days and after third day um, i am seeking something to receive in my heart but uh, unfortunately what happened may I, i i was totally into different uh, realm of uh, what i can tell my spiritual i can tell you in the sense i was i was totally uh, got the suicidal thought in me and i got uh, it's like drain i'm, I'm completely dry like that mm. kind of thing and how old were you at that time uh, just i'm just 14 years old 14 years of old wow yeah. at the age of 14 you were inclined towards praying yeah. 30 times a day yeah yes oh, yes okay so i did for 3 days not for all the day only for 3 days i tried but after fourth day uh, i got like emptiness in me i don't know what to do after that so uh, somehow because of family situation and my i want to seek him a lot i some some uh, suicidal thought has come in my mind i don't know how it came in my mind when i was follow i want to follow him a lot then that thing came in my mind and after after that three four months i struggled a lot mm. i struggled a lot to come out from the inferior complex kind of a thing and i decided to commit suicide because i felt the world is not good and i want to go to allah Islam doesn't encourage to commit suicide but because of my problem and I couldn't face it in any days and I decided to do that and somehow to go towards him that's how I actually thought to do it and um, January 2nd 2005 I thought to commit suicide after 3 4 months I committed I th- just um, committed for that and um, I just went out of my city and uh, sitting under a tree I just was just crying about my life what to do I don't know what to do how my life is going on so when you felt you f- you should die mm-hmm. you went out s- outskirts of your city and yeah. sat under a tree and started crying and yes. you wanted to kill yourself yes yes and it happened after the prayers it, it happened 30 after times a day yes yes oh I don't know how because uh, after praying 30 times a day uh, I'm expecting something to happen 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 in my spirituality but it was totally drained I feel like empty it's like I have a lot of love for somebody mm. and I don't get a response so I feel like rejected rejected kind of a uh, thing mm. uh, spiritually I don't know how to tell right now mm. but it was totally a wilderness in my heart mm. so I decided for that it is mm. not only for uh, because of spirituality and I had a f- uh, family problem at that time so that made me inclined towards suicide actually mm. so mm. Um, I did I committed for that and December I mean January 2nd 2005 I uh, started uh, realizing what is the strategy I can do and went outside of my outside of my city and uh, sat under a tree. I'm just discussing. I'm just thinking and crying. Keep keep on crying. Keep on crying. I don't know what to do actually. Mm. So mm. once I was just, I mean, so four five hours passed away, mm. and uh, I was sitting in a tree. In that tree, I saw a word. Someone has pasted like uh, your sorrows will turn into joy. Okay, yeah. so you saw a a verse, yes, or you saw some wordings. Do do you, did you yes. know that it was Bible? No, I didn't know. No, no, I don't care about that. Okay, I know that's Bible or not. But just I was crying, and I saw there's a verse called "Your sorrows will turn into joy." Mm. And um, as soon as I saw the words, and again I turned back, and I was just crying, crying, crying. But somebody, somebody's first time started speaking to me, mm. like you go home. I want to talk to you. 
Mm. It was very real, like how I speak in front of you. It was more real for me, and it was convincing me and asking me to come out from that place. Actually. The voice. Yeah, the voice. It is telling go, go home, go home. I won't talk to you. Mm. So I'm just listening to that voice. It's in my heart, not in my ears. I can understand my heart. And I went to home and I did all my namas. Um, I went evening only, so as a namas. So you prayed again. Again, I prayed. Yeah, that's okay. the way of worshiping. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I can't totally understand. Mm. Yeah. So as a namas, Maghrib namas, and I did Isha namas, and went back to home and I told my mom and my grandparents. So they were all upset and were crying the whole night. It was full of crying only. So you told them that you heard a voice, or you told them that you wanted to commit a suicide? No, I told them I want. I went to commit suicide oh, and wow. I came back. That's how I told them. And they, I'm the only one guy. So that should be very very painful <laughs> on your parents. Yeah, yeah. So they were really worried about me. Why mm. you have taken such a decision like that? Mm. I told I'm very depressed. I don't know what to do like that. Mm. And uh, so the same day night I went to sleep normal casual life. So I just went to sleep. As soon as I closed my eyes, I saw a person standing next to me actually. Mm. And just I closed my eyes. I couldn't see somebody standing next to me. I'm I'm just realizing who he is. The question is coming inside me. Before that, a voice is coming and telling this is Lord Jesus Christ. So as soon as I heard the voice, this is Lord Jesus Christ. I started confessing all my sins actually, like um, I, I, whatever the sins, sinful life, whatever the wickedness I have, whatever the adultery things I had in my heart. I just opened my dark room of sin and I told. It's not like a word I said sin, sin and all. I told I have committed that, I have done that, I have cheated, I have lied. So every single thing just pop up in my mind. I just told to him that this is what, this is what, this is what like that. So, so you're you're telling me mm-hmm. that. Uh, you confessed all your sins yeah. and whoever the person that appeared to you in yeah. your dream that you, that was uh, lord jesus christ yeah so so tell me a little bit more about that did anybody share gospel mm-hmm. to you did anybody talk about jesus to you okay um, no no one has taught gospel to me the reason why i'm telling is even in my school days uh, in islam when we were living that way um, we used to argue with all christians actually Personally, me and my team, we have we go from one Jamaat actually. We are from same Makkah only. So we studied in the same school. So we never ever made any Christian guys to talk about Jesus to us. We are very confident and sure we are right and mm. they are wrong. They are mm. misleaded. So I never ha- heard gave anybody the opportunity to talk about Jesus to me. It was only me and my friends used to criticize Lord Jesus and we used to tell bad about Jesus about Trinity. the worst thing i can th- keep in mind i told whatever is imagination has come in my mind i just criticize about jesus actually so so as far as i know mm-hmm. uh, islamic people they they respect mm-hmm. isa of the quran mm-hmm. and uh, and so but you are saying you criticized lord jesus yeah. and you criticized the doctrine of trinity and yes. the bible and so on and so forth mm-hmm. uh, then uh, then what made you think that the person who is speaking to you in the night was jesus okay See, like you said that Islam people, it's not like they love Jesus and all. In my days, I still remember we are being taught only to follow Quran. Okay. We are being taught only to follow the Islam. Okay. And we never even heard about what Jesus did in Bible and all. What has given in Quran? We talk more about Islam and how to live a life lifestyle, and that's it. And uh, no one taught us to love Jesus and all. He never know because we we were being taught in a way that he has been Jesus is misleading the people. That's how we are being taught actually. I am very okay, sure you mean you mean the the people who preach Jesus are yes. misleading people from Jesus to yes. or from misleading people from Allah to Jesus yes yes making yes. Jesus as God yes yes okay so the, the only thing we kept in mind was they are trying to um, believe Jesus as God but he is a prophet that's how we've been taught actually mm. so we tell the same thing to them so there is no kind of love and all we because when come when it come for argument the, the real sake when we talk about Jesus when we talk about Muhammad we always have an argument with our Christians actually mm. so i never had opportunity to think about Jesus like you said the night i saw Jesus it was very shocking for me uh, because the same guy whom i met i have spoken about him i have criticized about him i have uh, i have criticized about the peoples of uh, bible who are following so all these things actually uh, unintentionally or intentionally i don't, don't know but i just said everything to him that i have done all the sins whatever is there in my heart i have just opened and confessed everything to him actually at the same time but as far as i know islam doesn't believe in yes. uh, the original sin yes, yes. and uh, they don't believe in you know uh, i might be wrong but yeah, yeah, yeah. you can correct me yes. they don't believe in original sin so what how did you know that you need to confess sins yes. to or did anybody taught you on that yeah you right right like rightly said 
said there is no story of serpent came and deceived even all nothing is there actually so for us allah has created everybody in equally and good manner once i follow iman thing i am into islam and i go to paradise if i am not following iman thing then i am not into islam then i go for uh, go to hell that's the destiny of what been taught that's what islam also talks about when i saw jesus christ it was not in my mind to confess and all no mm. it, it it just came from because by seeing the i am not saying his face but i am seeing this personality and how he is how, how he is tall and how he is broad and um, the, the glory around him that made me to think that i am nothing actually that made me to think that i have lot of faults inside me that made me to think i have lot of black uh, worst uh, sinful things that made me to realize actually it is not something i feel comfortable seeing with, with being with him i just told whatever is ha- had in me like i, I just, like i said you uh, the dark room of sin mm. i opened it that's mm. how it happened yeah. i opened my dark room of sin mm. and i just confessed up actually it happened inside me i don't know how it did but it, once i saw him i just did everything that that way well the bible talks about the spirit of truth and when the spirit of truth comes into your life praise the lord he uh he, he you know he convicts you of the sin and righteousness so you saw the righteousness and glory of jesus Praise and you you automatically started to see yourself as a sinner right yes yes that's what uh, you and when in your in your description you were talking about love mm. and that's the one thing that i i was trying to uh, or trying to ask you mm-hmm. don't you ever heard about mm-hmm. or have you ever heard about god's love in islam never ever say i will tell you an example if somebody loves me there should be always deeds hmm if i just say somebody love, love i love you i love you and i don't have a deed of doing the love hmm. for example if i say my wife i love her just texting her i love you i love you but not helping her not understanding her if there is no deed there is no love at all it's not by a word whenever there's a love it should be a deed in islam if you see when allah talks about his love he never said himself as his love and all it might be it it, it it is not like it's most merciful and most gracious but where is return where i can see the gracious act of uh, mm. islam god mm. that's how it i had a question actually mm. like you said uh, i never had a imagination or a thought of god is love for me the god is a creator who is somewhere sitting comfortably and we are just a uh, human being and we have to be a slave to him like i said after this conversation happened with jesus i mean uh, after the confession is done and uh, i slept back i just next day morning i woke i went to my namaz i did my regular duty i went to my school i did my regular duty there and in school we used to pray at lohar namaz we pray as ground hills we don't they, are, they don't allow us to go outside and pray so we guys used to pray at the ground so after that namaz i am just thinking what is happening in my life because till yesterday i thought to commit suicide hmm. and i committed so i went for that and i came back then why i saw jesus that's hmm. the first question popped in my mind and i am not comfortable by seeing jesus that's hmm. i'm just thinking because i have spoken about him a lot i yeah. have criticized about him a lot hmm. i can't go and ask the christian guy about right. why is jesus now <laughs> right you know very well how <laughs> right. i just ask him so i went my home back and uh, i had a lot of confusion in this part because i saw him it's he is very real so i went to home and uh, used to uh, just watching some tv movie uh, channel in some tv and uh, i was just having my uh, dinner so once i'm having that uh, in raj tv in tamil channel and uh, the famous guy the one of a pastor dr dj is dinner he's evangelist uh, i just randomly he came the, the channel the, movie, the the show was coming okay and uh, he was talking about love of god god loves human so much so that's why he came to the earth like that uh, when i was i was listening to half an hour session of his preaching i never heard anything in my life that god is love i never heard not even one single time that god might be love so for me some something he's like what islam taught uh, teaches is like he is something supreme and creator that's it hmm. and uh, we are not been taught he is love he loves us so much nothing like that there is no deed there is no action nothing at all so for me when i listen to this kind of uh, preaching i'm just thinking whether god can be a love whether he loves me so much hmm. so he will come to forgive my sin so he loves me so much in that case then that who is god that's how it, it popped in me go in the mind it came in my mind actually then hmm. who is god the god should be love nothing he is not a lover he is not having a love mercy and all he should be a formation of love he should be a formation of mercy mm. he is not having one a, a character and uh, saying i'm love no no he should be full of love that that's that's the point i just realized um what is happening what is happening actually and the same day night again i went to sleep i again saw jesus christ and it happened for continuously 3 4 days so i saw him so you so so in your sleep you 
saw Jesus yeah. three or four times yes. in three or four days. Yes, exactly. Mm. So every day night I saw him and um, he was more into love. He was just, my, my heart was, it was like a stone heart for me before. Now it's like a heart of flesh. Whatever the sins in my heart is there, he just took it everything to himself. I can understand that because he was just accusing my heart and all the, the black sinful things has happened going away. I understood God is love. I understood he should be love and uh, the whom I am seeking should be love because mm. if somebody loves me so much then only they can take a decision to come to this world mm. and go to the cross to mm. bear my sin. Right. There mm. is not even one single uh, person has come for no, no one has come no, no God or no no is no no religion talks about that no organization mm. talks about somebody came for you and died for you actually. Mm. So that made me to think a lot. That mm. made me think a lot. And after that fifth day I told my mom uh, mom I want to know what is Jesus actually. Mm. My mom was actually, she was thinking, why suddenly <laughs> talking about Jesus? I so, so basically when you said, yes. uh, when you talked about Jesus with your mom and your family, mm -hmm. did you tell them that now you are a follower of Christ or you just asked no, no, them? No, no, I didn't know because I was going to Amazon. I didn't, okay. I'm not a follower of Christ at that time. So the fifth day, I had a lot of questions because I'm seeing him. He's very real. I understood Jesus is very real. So for me, the thing is, how should I follow him? Whether the Bible talks about Jesus, Quran talks about Jesus. So that's the point of time. I had a question, a lot of questions. And I told mom, I want to go to one Christian meeting and I want to uh, just know what they're talking about Jesus. My mom was quite shocked and she was upset. And uh, because of my convincing, I was convincing a lot to her to please come and help me. That's mm. all. So she came along with me, me and my mom into a public meeting and it happened in Palangote um, uh, Sanitary Building and uh, some 2,000 people has come. So Palangote about. in uh, Tamil Nadu. Yes, mm. Palangote in Tamil Nadu and uh, the pastor is just talking about something and we are just entering at that time, last row, last row we are just entering and suddenly when he was praying, he is telling a Muslim family has come to this place and God is going to pluck him a different garden and plant in his own garden and that will bear fruit and that will multiply like that. So when I hear such a thing, I never heard in Islam at all. Mm. Just talk, prophesying or talking about somebody, future love, never the future prediction, never heard all these kinds of uh, uh, experience, I never heard. As soon as he told me and my mom went away, <laughs> we came back to home actually. Okay. Because we were afraid what is happening here. Okay. Did you suspect that somebody might have uh, given them the information and that? Who, who knows about this? No Nobody knows, knows you. No one knows about is, this. It's, is it a different city? It's a no. It's a in the same city actually. Uh -huh. But I saw the advertisement in in a local channel. Okay. I saw that some okay. meeting is happening. So maybe you maybe your mother wore a burqa or you no, were in a no, no, you no. were in a Muslim attire. <laughs> is that the reason? No, no, no. I told my mom to remove the burqa because okay. when we came to different place, we, in a midpoint we just she removed her burqa and then only we enter inside. Okay, okay. So no one knows that we are. Muslim. Muslim at all. Mm. But when we came inside, the pastor who is standing, three, 2000 people, a lot of cloud is there. He's standing somewhere in the stage. Mm. And he said that. Uh, so there were 2000 people. Yes, yes, almost 2000 people were there. And uh, because of that, me and my mom came home back. And my mom was asking, What has happened? What has happened? Did you inform about us? They are coming. I told nothing. You go to sleep. Let me also go to sleep like that. Okay. So at that day, I just uh, was talking to Jesus. I just said in my heart, I believe in you. There is no doubt that I have because I, 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 can, I know that you are very real. On the way to commit suicide, I saw him the same day I saw him. I am very real about his presence actually. I want to follow now God, whether through Jesus or through Bible or through Quran. That's the only point of time I just came to my, I mean, I am just standing to choose which is right. That's the hope. Okay. So, so you wanted to make a decision between <laughs> yeah. Quran and Bible. Yes, now. I want to make a decision because I know that this world is very mere world and it's full of fake and vain things. I want to follow the real God. I want to reach my life and to have eternal life with somebody who is giving me the, the salvation guarantee and which is truth actually, not guarantee about. It's it's truth. It's historically truth. I want to know about that. I said to Jesus that day, um, Jesus, I know that you are real. I am very sure you are real. Only thing is, I don't know how to follow you now. Mm -hmm. uh, how to follow God, whether through Bible, through Islam. So at that day, so when I was just asking this question, I saw him the same day and uh, he had a Bible in his hand uh, with the Holy Bible is written, the cross is there. And second thing he made me to convince, the first day when I went to commit suicide, I saw a verse called, your sorrows will turn into joy. Right. So that verse only, this experience has started coming in my life. Right. And I understood that, uh, supernaturally I understood that by that verse is from the Bible and it is in John chapter 16 and 21 verse. So nobody told you that it is in no, John no, 16, no, 21. No one told me, but I can understand it is in the Bible. He made me to realize that actually, okay. supernaturally. I don't know how it happened. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so there was an inclination in your heart that yes. these words that you heard mm -hmm. or read mm -hmm. 
are from Bible. Yes. So yes. you started searching that in the Bible yes, and I then you found it in John chapter. Yes, okay. yes. I found it also. Yes, exactly. You said I started looking in Bible whether it is there. I was just trying for some two, three months. I understood it is there in the Bible. And the same day I started following Jesus. I thought mm. like, I want to follow him because I want to go God. Mm. And uh, after accepting Christ, my mom also accepted Christ after two weeks of time. What made her <laughs> accept uh, Christ? Okay. After two weeks, my mom came and asked me, uh, Ijash, uh, mm-hmm. kya hua? what happened? You are changed. I said, what I changed, mom? And she was asking, how suddenly you have become so much of emotional, so much of love? Because in previous life, I don't have a heart of loving and opening my heart to somebody and all. It was more like a, we were, like, a, like a stone. My heart was very stony, stone kind of a thing. After accepting Jesus Christ, my heart is like become like a heart of flesh. And I, can, I, have, I have a lot of loves now. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of love, emotion now. So that made my mom to understand I am changed actually. So mm-hmm. in two weeks of time, the change in my life made me mom to think a lot. And she also started coming to Christ. Actually. Wow. Mm-hmm. So she can see physically how I've changed. Mm-hmm. My character has changed. My attitude has changed. It was more of love. So I said, love you, mom and all. So that made her to think a lot. Because um, when I was coming, I mean, growing in my life, I just, uh, I never did all this action. I mean, just young days, I might have done, not in my youth and all. So that's how my life got deviated towards Christ. And praise the Lord, I am saved. And my mom came to Christ. And my grandparents, at the age of 79, I think 79, they came to Christ. They took water baptism. And my sister, finally, they came to Christ. My aunties came to Christ. My uh, grandfather's brother also came to Christ. They already been to Christ, actually. Mm. So I found a lot of Muslims already to Christ. I was thinking I'm the only guy who came to Christ. And I was having a lot of problems. Then I come to know, it is so much of people already there from Islam to Christ. So are you saying that uh, uh, a lot of people are turning away from Islam towards Christ? That's the truth actually. That's the truth. A lot of people publicly like me, they have come to Christ. Mm. And uh, some people are very confidentially living uh, into mm. Christ. That's it. Because mm. they yeah. understood what is truth. See, two ways an Islam guy to uh, incline towards God. First thing is, either they have encounter with Lord Jesus Christ. Or second thing is, whoever a Christian guy is go and talk to them. Mm. The love made them to think a lot. Mm. So I have seen people either by the encounter they have come to Christ or by the love which is being their heart that's how they came to Christ actually. Mm. So even uh, I always tell to everybody mm. so whether you want to know who is right God you go and study your book first of all. I never go and talk about Bible to any Islam any Hindu people at all. I tell whoever wants to know God if you are Hindu you will go and study about religion. If you are Islam guy go and study Hadith and Islam and Quran. If you are Christian study Bible do not get convinced for anybody's thought. It is, it's up to you to decide to find eternity. We are living a mere life in this world. So do you think you changed your religion? No, I have not changed anything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because not. you said when you, when, you came, when you gave your life to Christ, your yeah. mom saw you and yeah. she suddenly started realizing that you're more loving now. Yes, yes. So does it uh, in any way uh, say that you have changed your religion? No, no, that's nothing of religion. I'm still uh, legally I'm Islam guy. My mom is my all families are Islam only. We are just Urdu. I have not changed my name. It's only thing is I have found that who is the true God. I have given my heart to Him and I started following Him without no with no compromise actually. That's what I would tell. Mm. Started following Him and uh, with no compromise, mm. which is the true God. Mm. I have not changed anything legally mm. because nothing is going to happen by changing legally. Mm. It's all up to our heart only desires. Mm. God sees your heart. Mm. Wherever we are, um, I'm born in an Islam fan, I might be Islam guy. Born in a Christian fan, I might be a Christian guy. But finding God is the eternal, uh, eternal mm. seeking for everybody, for individual. Mm. So I have actually uh, seeking for him and I found him finally. And mm. he found me, that's not I found him. Mm. So he found me and uh, I went to Christ. Mm. So nothing to change legally outside. It's only mm. your heart to be changed inside. Yeah, well, the Bible says, Know ye the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Praise the Lord. So, the, word, the truth that you found, I mean, in, your, in our discussion, this is what I could understand. That God is love, and that love mm, changed your life. And other people, like your mother, could also see that love in you. Mm. So, uh, but, you know, many a times, Christians uh, have this reluctance. You know, they are, re- they are really reluctant to share gospel to Muslims because... Mm-hmm. They think, uh, you know, they are not equipped enough or, you know, they have some kind of fear or some stigma, uh, you know, what will happen Mm -hmm. if I share and stuff like that. Do you, what do you, how do you see that? Okay. To talk to any Muslim to share the gospel, it is first thing we should reject from our mind is to fear them. Because I will always tell, you go and meet any Muslim, 
he is open to listen and he is open to argue and he open to debate also and uh, the first thing before sharing to them you should pray for them i always tell before sharing gospel to any muslim you first pray and make yourself physically and spiritually uh, you have been ready to meet them and second thing is not to afraid by because by seeing them they are more good people actually the, i can tell uh, they have a good heart they have a good heart to uh, understand what you are supposed to tell so it's it's a right way to go and talk to them nothing you should not win the argument <laughs> it should, mm. should win their heart it is not just putting the slides and arguing with them see who is mohammed who is who is uh, jesus and all it's about talking to them and making them to understand in a way how they will understand and without fear we have to approach them because mm. uh, i have seen like you said lot of people hesitate to meet muslims actually. right we should not do that way right. we should go and meet them approach them mm. and they are very good people they mm. have very good hospitality mm. like more than a good christians they have a good good people to get uh, link mingle with the people actually mm. uh, when you talk about the gospel sharing and all mm. yes mm. so so what i am understanding with, with your uh, you know with your with this brief discussion is you are rejecting islam but you are not rejecting muslims you yes. love muslims yeah. but you are rejecting islam is yes. that what you are saying exactly uh, there's a there's a saying uh, good muslim following practicing i mean bad islam hmm. so i'm not criticizing about islam it's uh, is let the islam be whatever the religion is whatever the tradition whatever is let it happen i'm talking about the muslim muslims wants to be evangelized they should know what is the truth i always tell to every muslim who wants mm-hmm. to know who is god mm-hmm. allah might allah is god but which allah what who talks about allah mm-hmm. allah is allah means god that's it whether muhammad talks about that allah or jesus talks about who is that allah mm-hmm. so finding the god is most important in our in our life mm-hmm. i always tell any muslims to study their quran mm-hmm. to study their hadith mm-hmm. and know what is their basic faith mm-hmm. it is not just something they told this good they told it is good nothing like that mm-hmm. it, any muslim or any individual people mm-hmm. should realize that what i am practicing i should have a documented to know what is it mm-hmm. some proof actually mm-hmm. so when they started doing in that way everybody will know who is the truth finally there is only one god there is no multiple gods mm-hmm. it is only one god mm-hmm. when you seek towards god you will find jesus christ Mm. you will find jesus christ there is no um, you won't be declined from in, the, in, the, in that direction it, you, you will go towards christ only mm. yes wow okay so so muhammad ijaz thank you very much for sharing you know your life story with us uh, what is the one thing that you want to tell our viewers you know okay. what is the one encouragement that you want to give our viewers and uh, um it, how do we uh, how do we love muslims more how do we reach out to them with love more okay um i'm so happy that you're watching this uh, video and uh, see uh, the basic things um, i understood is that if you want to evangelize or you want to uh, talk about jesus right to anybody ask them to seek god first of all it is not like you have burden on them and you just want to start a conversation make them to realize that let them seek their own god let them seek in a way what quran says what uh, uh, what about the hindu uh, books says what about the christian books says let them follow it and you also make a good strategy and to evangelize them always never try to win the argument or try to make or don't try to force them just tell about jesus christ to them and they will slow by slow will understand and who is god and and they should know that love is the true god god is love bible talks about jesus is love bible talks about god is love mm. the main phenomenon of the supreme creator whom i am we are discussing we are worshiping is formation of love there's nothing else to 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 show his own act in this world he came as a human and gave his blood and cleansed from all the sin and now he has eternal life we may follow christianity or uh, or islam or any kind of religion but that doesn't matter to go to eternal life if i need to go to eternal life bible says very clearly through jesus only i have eternal life okay jesus is the true way it is mm. not like jesus also is the way i heard somebody told me moses also moses is the way and david is the way jesus is the way no no he is not the way they are not the way only jesus is the way bible tells very clearly mm. they might be showing the light they might be showing the path how to follow but jesus told follow me and mm. i am the way mm. he said i am also not he never say i am also the way so to follow jesus is finding your eternal life mm. so that's how i think we should get prepare ourselves mm-hmm. to show the eternal life to somebody by introducing jesus to them without mm-hmm. any hesitation just by starting loving them wow it's amazing that uh, the transformation that happened in your life you wanted to end your life and now you found eternal life mm-hmm. so the that reminds me of uh, 
um, of uh, the Islamic prophet himself mm -hmm. uh, committing suicide a couple of times. And, uh, uh, and you know, fi finally he did not get Jesus, but you got him. Praise the Lord. And uh, <laughs> that's, I really congratulate you for that. Praise and do you see any difference now in the, in the God that you believed earlier and the God that you're believing now, the prophets that you believed earlier and the prophet that you believe now and stuff like that? Yes, there are a lot of differences I can tell. I always had a mindset, the God of Judaism, mm -hmm. the God of Christianity, the God of uh, Islam, they're all same God, but being deviated by the false teaching. Then after reading Bible, I understood that there is not even one single common, uh, I can see, I, there's not even one single point I can say the God of Islam and the God of Bible is same God. Mm. It's totally different actually. Mm. When you go back to the history and you will find that the people, those who are lived in the days of Muhammad, they were actually following a lot of idols in Mecca. Mm. And among that, there was a prime god called Allila. Mm. And the, it had moon god, sun god and all there. So it's full of the... When you go back to history, you'll find it. It's not mm. me. I'm just saying the false story. You go to Google and you'll find it. What was there in Mecca? Mecca you'll find in Huran even actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What has happened in Mecca, you'll find in Huran even. So the god of Islam and the god of Bible is not the same god. What whom I am worshipping is the God of Israel. He is the, his name mm. is Yahovah. Mm. His name is Yahweh. There is mm. nothing like the difference name. Mm. He always introduced himself like I am Yahweh. Mm. I am the Lord. I am Adonai. Mm. He never ever told I am Allah. Mm. There is not even one single word and in Bible says mm. about God. And the attributes if you see about the character wise. Mm. Yes. And who is Allah and who is the Yahweh whom I am talking about. They are both are totally different. Mm. God wants to be a father. The mm. Bible, Bible God talks about he wants to be a father actually mm. because he says we are children of him oh yeah he yes. wants to love us lord mm. he is asking a personal interaction with him mm. he is expecting a personal communication with him actually mm. he is expecting our heart totally submitted to him yes but if you see the god of uh, islam it is totally different he never spoke to anybody mm. he even never spoke to muhammad also he spoke through jibril only mm. so there is no direct interaction and he don't want to be a father he never mm. himself said i'm a father you are my sons yeah and if you see well the quran says lam you love lam you live yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he is he's, he's not born to anyone. He's not father of anyone. Yes, yes. He yes, says that. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. If you see the basic differences about the God of uh, Bible and the God of Islam, you will find the major changes. Mm. Then you will come to a conclusion the God whom you are following is not the real God. Mm. It's actually a story. You will come to know. But the God of Bible is more of emotion, more of love. And he has eternal life. He has a plan of salvation. Mm. There is no salvation in Islam. Mm. You can do namas or you the either only way to go to Islam salvation is to buy jihad. That's it. When you end your life, then you go to, um, you have a salvation. That's a must. There is no salvation guarantee in Islam. You can bring all the verses. I can also always show you there is no guarantee of salvation in Islam. In Jesus Christ, in Christianity, the from the first, from Adam, it is always the God's plan to give them a salvation. They, mm. He had a lot of strategy to bring them to God. Mm. And finally, he himself came and said, if all, you believe me that I bear all your sins and I took all the sins in the cross, I am resurrected. Mm. There comes the salvation actually. Mm. Today, I am saved because of Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. And the God of Islam and God of uh, Bible is totally different actually. Mm. It is the false story and you will understand it never, it never takes you to the love path. This mm. will take you to the love path. Mm. So, well, Muhammad Ijaz, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And I hope you will, you will enjoy more and more of your life. Praise the Lord. Which you wanted to end at one point of time. Praise the Lord. But uh, God, by grace in Jesus Christ, Amen. rescued Amen. you from that moment. Praise and he placed you in a very high place Praise where you can enjoy his love, enjoy his grace Praise and enjoy his goodness. Thank you so much for being a part of us. Thank you so And thank much. you so much for speaking to our viewers as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you so much. Sir. Praise the Lord. Adandi, Vishyam, you know, Vandala Mandi, Mana Bharat Deshan Lo, Christ remembered in Satanaki, Christ to Premon Anbu in Satanaki, Mari Islam Matun Nunchi, Islam Therma Yoka Nepatin Nunchi was to Nar, Alan to Allah, Mohammed Ejaz Gar Guda Wakaru. He is one of them who decided to follow Jesus out of hundreds, out of thousands. I would also encourage you, if you are a Muslim watching this video, I would ask you as uh, Muhammad Ejaz asked you to go read your own Quran, to go read your own Hadith and compare it with the God of the Bible. Bible Bible
ఆయన మీకు ఆయన మాత్రమే మీకోసం ప్రాణం పెట్టినవాడు ఆయన మాత్రమే మిమ్మల్ని ప్రేమించేవాడు మహమ్మద్ ఏజాజ్ గారి జీవిత కథనం నుంచి మనం తెలుసుకున్నది అది పద్నాలుగేళ్ల సమయంలో ఆయన తను తాను చంపుకోవాలనుకున్నాడు కానీ ప్రభు తన అపారమైన కృప చేత ఆయన పట్టుకున్నాడు మిమ్మల్ని కూడా పట్టుకోగలడు మరి ఈ వీడియో వీక్షిస్తున్నటువంటి మీరు ఈ వీడియో ద్వారా ఎన్నో శుభములు ఎన్నో మేలులు పొందాలని ఆశిస్తూ ప్రైస్ అవాడు